welcome back to another episode of the Algorithm Podcast. We're here. We're here. Uh, happy post eclipse yeah. weekend. Did you guys get to watch it all? Yes. So, that shit was so cool, man. So cool. let's uh, go around the table and explain our eclipse experiences. Okay. We I'll, I'll go last. Okay. Okay. We can start with you. ladies first. Ladies first. Um, we went out to my sister's house and set up lawn chairs, and she's got this giant like playground in her backyard so the okay. kids were playing and distracting themselves so we all just sat there and literally just like every five seconds we were looking up <laughs> right. to see if anything changed and then she lives in like the middle of a field so like oh, there's was... there's nobody so it looked like Someone somebody had us on like a dimmer switch and it was getting yeah. darker and we were all like oh like this is kind of creepy i was like the zombies are gonna start it was out. like kind of eerie once it was started getting darker yes and yeah. it got cold and it was windy and it's almost like a storm like a thunderstorm yeah was like, like if you're inside of a yeah. house and it looked like that you're like oh shit it's about the storm yeah. yeah and about like two seconds before <laughs> it actually transitioned um her barn light came on her house lights flipped on that was then that's was, what i was gonna say because it was weird yeah. i was outside of my house and everybody's floodlights started popping yeah. on, or their their night lights whatever, mm-hmm. it, whatever it you want to call them pitch black and totally silent i mean they live off of a highway so like there was no traffic nobody was talking the wind stopped the birds stopped like it was dead silent we were all just like holy shit this is awesome we were all snapping <laughs> yeah. pictures and friendly was like mom she's like yelling for me from the playground she's like where's the sun <laughs> and so yeah i was so pumped to get on facebook and just see a bunch of fucking black dots all over my <laughs> oh my gosh i knew it's like, like it's- fourth of july pictures <laughs> yes like, like all right, bro. the <laughs> same <laughs> firework over and over, yeah. over again yeah um but man it was so cool yeah, i cool. i was not expecting it to be like that intense and there's a lot of people that kind of like downplayed it like oh i don't give a fuck yeah, i was like shit. i don't that was one of them that was me too i was talking shit all week all, all weekend and- well we have we work a job where when people go fucking nuts we see it yeah so we i was walking into stores all day long and they're not being anything on the shelf yeah like at all and i'm like what are people just fucking sitting out eating bologna sandwiches watching this fucking <laughs> shit bro i swear <laughs> like Tiffany was like, yeah, bro, people are traveling for this. I'm like, there's his friend Adam uh, is a hotel manager at Holiday in, mm-hmm. in Marion. And he said they were renting out rooms for $450 yeah, a night. Dude. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. $450 a night. Crack he said there was milk. places in Indianapolis, nine fifty dollars a $1,000 a night. Wow. Well, and I didn't really believe. I'm like, there ain't no way people are traveling like that. And we were on our way to Logansport. Jesse was with me. Uh, and it was 6, 7 in the morning. We passed. Um, there's a hotel on 31 right before you, like, right as you get to Peru. Hmm. Like, it's right on the highway, and okay. literally there wasn't a parking spot in the in the uh, parking lot. Bro. Yeah, and I was sister, like, "This is insane, man." She lives by a racetrack, and that racetrack was literally just renting out their field mm-hmm. for like two fifty. And the bleachers, and yeah, the just to like go and park and watch it, and then like, <laughs> all right, it's over. Go and go. I mean, think of that like it was like two minutes worth of like, what is this? The totality where it's completely covered. See, that's four minutes and twenty eight. Yeah, Indiana was one of the best places in the in the country yeah. yeah yeah so that, that was that was so weird because like when i was at work i saw people over um at grissom air force base there was people there at the dg that were from wisconsin there was people mm-hmm. from ohio i'm like bro this is we had insane. georgia and florida license plates in front of us my uh one of my kids on my baseball team uh shout out to jmac they they live out in rigdon which is in between elwood I know where and here though. okay so like that's some i mean you know Derek too they had just random people just pull off the side of the road in their yard from florida oh yeah just pulled off like they're like yeah or no chicago i think it was yeah we came here from chicago and they're like we wanted to get out so in the you, middle of the country yeah and we so you just pull in our yard like what's <laughs> up like i don't know just people like, it was definitely shotgun. weird man it people was. were driving stupid i don't know <laughs> yeah. if you experienced any of that in the bread truck i experienced like that. that every day yeah that, i mean that's <laughs> but bro i had i had a dude pass me that had uh i think what license plates he was from out of state which whatever it was but Passed me in a turn going up a hill, damn near caused a head on collision on my way back. Like, mm. we're talking like probably an hour before it's supposed to start happening. Like, yeah, people were just, we it were, was, it was yeah. Crazy. John sent a text us telling us to get the fuck off the road. Yeah, yeah. by like, one, they wanted us, yeah, they wanted us off the road. Like, this, yep. <laughs> yeah, staring at the freaking sky. What was your experience with the eclipse? So, I, I didn't get to, I didn't get to do anything with any of my family. I was by myself the whole time. So, like, really? Yeah, I got up early to make sure we were off the road, which I was like, this is gay. But then I was like, well, 
there's so there are so many people traveling and stuff. To, so I was like, I'm gonna get off the road. Like I don't want to be out there. And I did want to kind of experience it as it got closer. I was like, this is probably gonna be pretty cool. So I got home. My sister actually kept my kids, which my mom, excuse me, my mom normally does on Monday while me and Tiffany are at work, but. My sister kept them, and she texted me at, like, 11. I was like, I'm going to Costco. So, like, she took the girls to Costco to Fort Wayne with her. Didn't get back. So, like, I'm just at the crib. I'm Chilling. like, well, I got – I've been doing uh, cold plunges. So, like, I did a cold plunge when I got home. And when I got out, it was, like, dark. It was, like, starting to look weird outside. Yeah. Which I don't know got if you guys – a little chilly. Yeah. I don't know if you guys paid attention to what the weather was supposed to be. Like, there was a chance that it would be cloudy and you wouldn't mm-hmm. be able to see it. So, like, I oh. kind of got – like I was like, damn, bro, we're not even going to get to see it. Yeah. But it was really that it was just starting to happen. Like, yeah. so it was starting to get dark outside. I went outside and – Started. I was like working out outside. Did a kettlebell workout and fuck yeah. Then I just sat on the back porch. Yeah, <laughs> I was doing that until it started. But I had the, the little goggles and shit. Did Tiffany you? had some, so I was just kind of every now and then looking up. But it was it was a cool experience, man. So cool. Yeah, I wish I could have seen it with my kids and yeah. Tiffany been home, but she had to work. So okay, so my experience with the eclipse was I get home. Okay, so Erica works from home. Says so Erica sitting in the corner. And Hallie starts to get tired about 30 minutes before the <laughs> eclipse. So I, I put her down for a nap in about five minutes. She's been falling out. So I'm just sitting. Erica's got the windows and shit up. And I'm just sitting on the couch. And I'm like, yeah, I want to go probably watch this. And she's like, no, you're not. And I said, what? She says, no, you're not. Carl, you can go blind. <laughs> and I said, what? She says, Carl, you can go blind. It's all over the news. You will go blind looking at the eclipse. I said, I said, what are you talking about, Erica? What are you talking about? Didn't say anything else. 15 minutes goes by and it starts to happen. I'm laying on the couch and you just, it, it's like you turn the lights off. Yeah. Yeah. Like it just, it starts to get dark a little bit. Like, all right. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go out and watch this. She goes, no, you're not. I go, yeah, I am. So I walked outside. She follows me out to the driveway. I'm standing out in the driveway and I'm looking up at it. I'm like, Erica, you have to come see this. This is like, fuck, we're shit, not, this yeah. is like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. People were outside like yelling, like cheering oh, yeah. and shit. She's standing on the porch like, no, I'm not going and looking up the sky. I'm going to go blind. Erica, <laughs> come on. I stood in and I looked at her and I go, oh, my God, I'm blind. I'm, <laughs> I'm, blind. I'm blind. Oh, my God, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> that was my experience That's funny, with the man. eclipse. I was like, Erica, you fucking So she didn't it. look at it at all? At all. Damn, dude. Missed at all. She got out. to see it on Facebook. Yeah. Missed well, out. I mean, that was the thing, like, you had to have the. Did you have the goggles? Yeah. Like when it was like not completely covered, like you couldn't yeah, just. You couldn't just stare at the. You, you can't, can't no, stare, no. At the sun. stare at the sun. No, right really kept like, looking up going. That's what. That's <laughs> what people going blind was from. Yeah. Because they're literally trying to stare at it. it no. With no protection. I, yeah. I told Eric. I said you can't stare at the sun any day. Yeah. 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 You just don't like, walk yeah, outside yeah. and stare at the sun. Yeah. yeah so I'm like, gonna look at the. And I'm place. telling you, I tried to just like glint. Nope. Like no. It, what your eyes aren't having it. So yeah. like anybody yeah. that was doing that, they was Mm-mm. raw dog in the eclipse. I always I held the glasses <laughs> over my glasses, and then I would always pull them away too soon and stare at the sun anyways. Yeah. So I was always like, fuck. Like I literally can't see. But, but even with the glasses on, that was the only time you could actually see it like oh, yeah. until it was like in totality like yeah if you had the glasses on you could you see could like, watch the, the lights moon, go out like yeah. um, almost like a like a crescent moon like that's how oh it started God. looking and then it that's got closer so and closer cool. like you had to have the goggles on or you couldn't see no it. You, you can't see until it, it started getting dark so like yeah. that's what i was out back i was just kind of every 10 minutes i was just looking up and you could see it it moved a little bit yeah. which was really cool too so cool yeah, yeah it was probably one coolest five six minutes i've had in a long long time yeah we, it I mean, was like we were all excited about it like yeah. everybody was like holy shit this is like the coolest thing and i think that that made it more exciting yeah like feeding off of that energy yeah and then it happened we were all like what we all started yeah. hooting it was cool and that's kind of like i know you guys you said you was out kind of in the middle of nowhere mm-hmm. but like in town bro they had like uh Everybody at the park was packed. Yeah, like you could hear the whole town cheering. Yeah, when, when I didn't know they had an event down at the park. The park was. I don't know if they so necessarily packed. had an event. I think Bill Rock had posted a video, but I didn't listen to what he was saying. But like, I think he kind of just told everybody, like, "You're mm-hmm. welcome to come down, come to the park and watch yeah. it." Like Be a the whole park. View. Was, yeah, the whole park was packed, dude. I took Riley down there to feed the animals before, and people had campers down there. Yeah, like. <laughs> They were down there. Probably the the food trucks down. And I mean, really, like the ice wagon out. I don't know if I would have ever like traveled to see it. No. But like, I could see why people do. Oh yeah. I mean, if you got the funds and you got the time, like, 
It is. It was something really cool. We won't ever see it again. No. Like twenty ninety something is a lot. Yeah. Next time it's gonna happen, Riddle like full. Yeah, and I don't know, man. Like kind of to. I, I want to like switch gears on that a little bit, but still stay on the eclipse. Did you see any of the stuff where they talked about like the eclipse having like correlation with like huge earthquakes? Mm-mm. Yeah. Not yeah. Enough. So like, you can look back. There was one in like I think it was eighteen eleven or eighteen twelve when we had a complete eclipse like this. Mm-hmm. There was a huge, um, some of the biggest earthquakes that the Midwest had ever seen. Um, and then there was one that happened in Japan in two th- whenever the tsunami was. Was it 2010, I believe, in Japan? 2011, 2012. Yeah, somewhere maybe. around there. There was an eclipse like weeks before that. And then there were some other um, eclipses that had direct correlations with like weeks after. There they say why earthquake. is it just the the I don't know the maybe instant temperature maybe drop? maybe the uh, I think they talked about it being like the <laughs> gravitational pull mm-hmm. with the Earth the ocean the ocean anything because like I mean obviously tsunamis are caused by earthquakes so like it was anywhere that like kind of the, it had its path like so the path was from like I think Texas and then kind of on a straight like diagonal line yeah. to us so it was, i don't know man we're right on that uh i think it's called the madrid fault line i mm-hmm. think is what it's called i i've never been geographically intelligent in my life i'm a i just i mean idiot. that was just straight tiktok videos like <laughs> so, Fuck I mean, yeah tiktok knowledge but i mean it, it was like i kind of i looked it up too like the japan one was right after eclipse like has there been any earthquakes I don't. There uh, was. There was. There was just one. Um, East Coast. I think. Yeah, East Coast the other day. Mm. Yeah, it wasn't huge, but yeah, there was just one the other day. What day was? That? I actually seen a dude. He was traveling. It's um, Charles Johnson. I have him on Facebook. It's actually my buddy Ty's cousin. Um, he DJs and stuff, and he was. Uh, I want to say it was. It was on the East Coast, mm-hmm. maybe New York or something, and it was like a four point two or something like that, which it was big. Yeah. Did we? I felt we felt an earthquake several years back, didn't we? Didn't we have one? Yeah, there was like a small one. Yeah, yeah like, we were I, like, I slept. We were like, what the fuck I, was that? I remember like, I woke up and everybody was on Facebook like, "Oh, dude, I felt an earthquake. Like my house shook. Like I, I was <laughs> I'm like, just snoring." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's uh, switch gears into today's main topic episode. This is obviously just a chill episode, but today we're going to talk a little bit about the anomaly. That is crop circles. Yes. You still have no fucking idea what no. we're talking about no. <laughs> today. I've never really been into this type of conspiracy anyways. So but that's okay. You're going to be into it. Yeah. To dive into it blind, I was like, what the actual hell yeah. is happening? And everything that I watched and everything that I listened to, I still cannot make sense of it. So it's either A. Everybody can really. Yeah. So, so it's either A. That's the cool part about it. It's either A, one of the biggest hoaxes in the history yeah. ever. Or B, um, there's some shit going on there's that we don't understand. Shit going on. Or C, it could be a little bit of both. Uh, yeah, and that's what I believe. I and think I think it's a little, it's bit, a little bit of both. Yeah. You know, um, crop circles, obviously, everybody knows, knows what a crop circle is. I didn't. Yeah. I had, Tiffany no, had no idea. Either. She's really? like, what are you guys doing on this week's episode? I was like, crop circle. She's like, what's that? I'm what like, is a freaking crop circle? I'm telling you, I went into it totally blind. I had <laughs> no. So when I said, all right, this week's episode, crop circles, you're like, what, what the uh, actual uh, hell is a crop circle? And exactly why do I what, hear about exactly it? what it is? Yeah, and then I started watching, and I was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> like they just appear. Out yeah, of nowhere. yeah. Okay, so, uh, well, since you have no fucking idea, uh, yeah, go ahead. What we're talking about? What do you believe about crop circles? Uh, I'm gonna go with. I mean, you just said I'm gonna go with your last one. I kind of believe that. There's either something else making it, you know, it could be some, you know, aliens, could be the UFOs that they, you know, that they propel, you know, whatever, when they land them, whatever could make them. But um, I also think that there's a little bit of hoax in it, too, because there are, you know, there's been people caught doing it. There's been guys that have come forward. And there's also some that have been made on purpose just to show you that it can be done. Correct. So I'll stop you midway to get more into this you have to believe in ufos Mm -hmm. and i think we all believe in ufos correct Mm -hmm. so what would happen if you're out in the middle of a cornfield and a ship would just sit right on the crops it flattened them you think yes it would make a crop circle right Right. but to 
for a ship to just land, right? There has to be something stopping the ship to land. Like, what, right. what do we call that? What do we call that? Like the electromagnetic shit. Like what I was talking about before. There's like trace. Or there's traces of like uh, or not traces, but like um, indication that there's like electromagnetic magnetic pulses that have been like within the crop circle. Yeah. So like, so say like this one right here. Within that, there's there's traces of like uh concentrated like iron i believe is what i kind of i kind of got at or what i was watching today that um there would have to be like an electric uh, electromagnetic pulse to like um for it to happen almost like a microwave effect like yeah the the crops have been heated up and this this whole thing right here has made the crops actually grow faster Mm -hmm. afterwards when you know after the phenomenon happens so I mean, there's there's all it's just unexplained really. There's so many different things that I, I watched today, like that happened. Like there's there's evidence of like uh, so like do you know that like water has memory? Yes. Right. So water has memory. There was like a uh, there's like evidence that the um, at the molecular level of the water, like the the memory had been like altered, increased. Yeah, altered and increased within the soil. So like there's there's all kinds of stuff. Like that's just unexplained that. You know these. I don't even know if you'd call them scientists. I'm sure sometimes they are, but these these people that go in and take samples of the soil and study the crop circles once they happen, like it's been big. Like I don't know, big yeah. question mark in a lot of it. Yeah. And these like there's proven man-made crop circles, and then there's ones that can't be explained. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna show you since yeah. you have no fucking idea what hey, we're talking listen, about. Listen, I'm just a little bit in. All right. I'm gonna show you a man-made crop circle. Pretty, it's pretty fucking cool. I'll show you too. Yeah. I'll put it up on the screen as I'm showing it. That's a man-made crop circle, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And in this crop circle, you can kind of see it's cool, but it's not symmetrically yeah. even. Yeah. And it doesn't, you can't see the flow of the crops that well. Correct. Okay. And that is a confirmed man-made crop circle. Right. Okay. And now I'm going to show you guys one that is unexplained. Yeah. And I want you to look at how these crops are woven. Yeah. See that? That's what got me. <laughs> like woven. Like delicately placed. Yep. Delicately placed. Not to a T. Perfect circle shapes. Yeah. Perfect to a T. Okay. Now, that was one thing too. So like a lot of them, um, so that's probably like this a one? wheat field right there. This one mm-hmm. that we're actually looking at. And another weird thing was like, so the ones that are laid down. Yeah, when wheat is like dried, so like you you imagine like a cornfield when it's about to be harvested, right? Mm-hmm. Or a wheat field when it's about to be harvested. It's when it's starting to get dry at the mm-hmm. end of summer, right? All the crops have dried out completely. So like when they lay those crops actually down, so like on on the wheat, the top of it, it gets so heavy that they they like lie over, right? Yeah. From the weight, they they want to lie over it almost yeah. like it looks like a fish hook almost. Mm-hmm. It'll lie over like this. Um, once they've been like hit by whatever it is that forms the crop circle, all the, all the ones that are laid down are actually completely straight again. And you can't get them to bend. You can't get them to bend, which was, I heard that. Yeah. Which was kind of crazy, which I'd never knew any of that, but. Right. And that is not something that you can do. You just can't do no. that. So the biggest thing about the man-made ones is in the early 1990s, uh, two guys came forward. Okay, is in 1991, uh, Doug Bauer and Dave Chorley made headlines by claiming that it was them who started the phenomenon in 1978, and they confessed to over making 200 crop circles. Mm-hmm. And how they said they did it was they would go out in the middle of the night with wood and rope. Oh yeah, and they like stomp. They would just stomp the pattern. Yeah, the patterns yeah. in the middle of the night. And like flatten okay. it down with that piece of wood. So you can take a second and realize how fucking dumb that sounds. Yeah. Like how long would it take to do that? How long would it take to to make one of the ones that are unexplained? Right. How long would it take? You think you can just wake up in the middle of the night and see yeah. that one? Two hours later. Got Two it. hours later. Did it. Yeah. No. Which I mean, and even some of them, bro, like the the patterns are so intricate. Like this one right here. There'd be like fade effects. Like if you were you were yeah. like drawing in the middle. Up. Look at that one in the middle. That is one of the bigger ones that they're like super puzzled about, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing that one. And the one with like, all of the per- like, there's like two hundred perfect, perfect circles. circles. Yeah. That and there, and all those ones right there. Most of them that you are really unexplained and have these effects that we kind of talked about earlier. 
they're like the geometry in them are so like too pre- pre- precise, bro. Like they've done studies. So like um, Stonehenge, right? Mm-hmm. Stonehenge is like a, a certain dimension, and there's certain like they talked about in uh, the documentary I watched earlier today. They talked about how like um, there's certain numbers that like that have to do with the dimensions of Stonehenge, and a lot of these crop circles are based off those exact numbers. So like one of them was like uh, Stonehenge is very as as dull as Stonehenge looks. It is super yeah. fucking complex. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know if you know much about Stonehenge. Mm-hmm. That's an episode that's coming. Yeah. That's definitely. So, like, one of the numbers was, so, let me let me do it real quick. It was the first, I think, I believe, okay. one of the numbers is 5,040, okay. right? And this that's the first seven numbers multiplied. So, one times two times three times four times five times six times seven, right? Okay. And then the next one is eight through the next four, so. Eight through 12? I believe so. It was like it was it was in seven thousand. It was seven thousand something. Okay. And this that's those are like the dimensions or whatever it was that had to do with Stonehenge. And a lot of these I can't remember it off the top of my head. I should have wrote it down, but in this documentary they talked about how a lot of the crop circles that appear like all over the world mm-hmm. have those same exact dimensions. And it might it actually might have to do with like what's standing up compared to what's lied flat. Right. Okay. So there's five thousand circles flattened out compared to the 7,000 standing, Ooh. whatever it is. Yeah, it was crazy. And, like, that's just one of the things that just kind of blows your mind when it comes to this stuff, how, like, intricate they really are. Another yeah. pro uh, tin foil hat theory that these crop circles are are their messages Yeah, to us. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> I watched one like, about the message back. Or they had sent something up uh-huh. and the message back and the crops. I was like... Yeah, okay, I, gotta turn I off. forgot about that. Yeah, so they Freaky. sent something, and the message was back in the crops. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I've always been like so like interested in like crop circles and just like uh, Erica's one of Erica's favorite movies is Signs. Yeah, such a good movie. Yeah, have you ever seen Signs? No, I didn't get to watch it because I had to. I just told her I had to buy it, and it was like eighteen dollars. Like, Mel Gibson. Sh- that's what Tiffany said. Straight up, I'm She's not like, buying it. I was supposed to watch this, and I was like. I can't believe it's not on streaming service because that's a, such a fire. Mel movie. Gibson, Joaquin Phoenix, and it's just about an alien invasion. Okay. And they, I mean, the beginning of it, it starts with crop circles. They start happening in oh. the, the town that Mel Gibson lives in. Okay. And not to be, I'm, I don't want to give any like spoilers, but it's a good ass movie. Mm. Was it M Night Shyamalan? Yeah, M Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan <laughs> Dingo. At the scene of a lot of these um, crop circles, there's been like filmed orbs of light. Yes. And they actually even had they even actually had like a video of a, of a fucking military helicopter chasing the orbs of light. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. Didn't you say like uh pilots and shit would be out and they would fly past fields and they'd come back through like 10, ten minutes, minutes later, later and, and the, the crop wasn't there would, and then it's there, there now. Yeah. yeah. And that that kind of makes you think about like the mess like cuz what I was going to bring up a second ago when we were talking about um it being like messages is like there's a whole uh, if you're into ancient aliens, there's a whole episode that they called um, the crop so crop circle code, right? So like they think there's there's theories within that episode that they talk about like these could be coming from a different dimension, yeah, and mm-hmm. be messages to us. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to read like a little a, a little uh, article that this guy wrote, and uh, it's his like counter argument to people coming out and saying, "Well, these are made overnight." All right. You know, this guy says. Uh, he says, my musings on co- crop circles sometimes take the form of an imaginary client who walks into my office and asks if I can lay out a large pattern in a wheat field. I say, sure. I have the equipment and personnel to do that. But then he says, well, for your information, the work has to be done all in one night, and you can't just smash the wheat down. In fact, you have to carefully bend it an inch or so above the ground and weave it into a basket pattern. Mm. He says, there, there will be people looking for you, but you can't be seen. And you can't leave footprints. That's another big thing. Yeah. It's like, where are the footprints at right. in these crop circles? The pattern I want you to make is quite large, several hundred feet, actually. And it's kind of complicated. Oh, and by the way, it's not my field. And the farmer has threatened to shoot trespassers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. I mean, like at some point, what are, what are we doing? Like, yeah. what are we, that's, This is a man-made crop circle yeah. right here. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you can always tell. Like those, that's cool that you can do that. Yeah, but it's just not. It like, doesn't even come close to the like, ones that are 
just look at this fucking thing right here, dude. Yeah. That's a yin yang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In so a crop intricate. circle. Yeah. Like I said, in some of them, bro, there's like a fade where like one side is like laid one way, almost like mowing, mowing your grass, right? You mm -hmm. go one way and then back the other way and you get that stripe effect. Like there's like patterns like that within it. Yeah, and they're always circles. Yeah. Like that, they're always circles. I kind of go back earlier to what we were talking about, but there's there was evidence like, so like on, there's nodes like on the wheat, on mm -hmm. corn. So like, it's like that ring that it grows so, it grows so high and then there's like a ring around it and then there, it goes a little bit higher and then there's a ring. Um, there's like evidence of like that electromagnetic, um, pulse that they're talking about, like makes the nodes extend and grow faster. It's almost like a steaming effect. Yeah. Only in that area. Yeah. Only in that area. Only in that area. There would be like, um, <coughs> on the nodes too, they would like think of like pizza rolls or like a hot pocket, like mm -hmm. you cook it too long and it like the steam oh. pops out the side, right? Yeah. Same type of effect on that. On the crops. Yeah. And, and then there was... There's rope and board isn't going to do that. No, it's not no. going to do that. No. Right. There's another instance where they were talking about like the effects it have on people because there will be like people that go to um, the crop circles and yeah. like just want to be like spiritual there. They'll like yeah. lay in the crop circles. There's like effects on their bodies. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know how accurate this is, but they said in the documentary earlier that there was a person that went there and stayed for 20 to 40 minutes and had uh, problems with their thyroid mm -hmm. and had like a, a shrinking of the thyroid by like 40%. Just by sitting in the crop Just circle. by sitting I did see inside that. the crop circle. Or no shit. Yeah. Had a doctor with her as she was sitting there. Yeah. And they monitored it the whole time. Yeah. And by the time she was walking out, she was like significantly. Yeah. So what are you thinking when you watch that? I was like, it's still, I'm just like. <laughs> it's sketchy, man. You just yeah. can't put it together. Well, and that's like, because there's like, <laughs> have you ever heard of grounding? Mm -hmm. So like. It's good for you to go outside in mm -hmm. the sunlight, right? And yeah, go all, touch grass. It's, it's also right. It's also <laughs> good for you to literally walk with no shoes on yeah. on the ground because there's like an electromagnetic um, pulse within mm -hmm. the earth, right? Yeah, so until like, you step on a bee. <laughs> another <laughs> electro, Not a bee. yeah. But uh, yeah, so like maybe like whatever is causing this cro these crop circles, whether the technology or however it's happening, like kind of like it seems to accelerate things accelerate that pulse to in where that area comes, yeah in that area so like almost i mean because that's good for you what's what's that times 10 gonna do for yeah. your body you know what i mean we need to do an entire we did roswell but we need to do an entire alien series dude yeah uh, this could, be the, this could, be, the first one, this could be like kind of like the pre that's what we need to start doing is kind of like I don't know. You know kind of how like Rogan does like they got like protect your parks. They got oh, like, yeah, yeah. May things. You can kind of label ten foil, that. Tin foil so. algorithm. Yeah. Yeah. You you show up with a tin foil hat yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> That's gay. Yeah. yeah. I'm down. Yeah. Uh, next I'm ready to do like the, <clears throat> the Anunnaki stuff, like all that stuff. You probably have no idea what we're talking about, dude. Mm -mm. You know what Anunnaki is? Mm -mm. Break it down. <laughs> so... Um, this is a uh, prequel into our upcoming Anunnaki episode right. so the, that you're going to be on. Okay. They're, they're like, um, there's like ancient texts. Like, so they say life started in ancient um, Sumer, which is like Iraq, Sumeria. right? Okay. Yep. Now it's like present day Iraq. So like the Sumerians, their texts, um, they were some of like the first, the first people that had language mm -hmm. that's like recorded. Um, the very first civilization yep. we're talking about the very first civilization ever yeah okay. like before k recorded anyways like yeah. very very and to uh put in like perspective like how fucking intelligent these people were mm -hmm. very person very first civilization ever okay put that in your head they had a sewage system right okay. the the people before cavemen had a sewage system okay yeah, that's so, what you think about that yeah. so these people their belief is that there there was a i can't remember what the planet is but they said like every so many thousands of years mm -hmm. this planet gets close to earth right and these people would come and they, they were called the anunnaki they were like superior to us they had mm -hmm. more technology they had um God, they were like basically gods to the Sumerian Giants. people, right? Um, the whole story is basically that they came down and pretty much treated human from the other planet, right? Okay, from the other planet, and it's out there. They either created the Sumerians, but this this is kind of like the story is that they created humans, mm -hmm. used them as slaves oh. to mine gold, 
which okay. would protect their planet, which is kind of weird, right? Okay, but yeah. this is like a proven thing now that you have to start. You can use pieces of the puzzle. So, like, think of the ozone layer. Yeah, you can actually put gold particles in our atmosphere, and it'll protect us from the sun. Oh. So, like, this is this is a theory from Sumerian times. Okay. S- Six thousand years ago, yeah. I think it was. Why is gold so valuable? Right. Yeah. It's it's a brittle material. It's not strong like steel or anything. It yeah. you can't build why with is, it. Yeah. Why is gold more valuable? Why did why do you, and humans hold it like okay gold medals? Yeah. People wear jewelry. Mm-hmm. It's very valuable, but like it doesn't really have like a huge use okay. other than things like that. Mm-hmm. So like. It's out there, but it, it, it is an out there theory. But there's a lot of things like if you, if you watch it and listen to like people that actually like have studied it, there's a lot of things that line up even with like the Bible that has to do with wow. this. Like, there's a guy named uh, Billy, yeah, you Billy look something. at higher you look at hieroglyphs in the pyramids, documented hier- hieroglyphs that Egyptians made, mm-hmm. and there's the standard Egyptians, and then there's these giant people that are above them. Okay. Teaching them things, yeah, and that's representing Anunnaki. Okay, <laughs> it's out there. It's out there, but go. But you, you're gonna the more like, you listen to these people talk about this stuff. Like, it, you're just be prepared. Stor- just, stories of the Bible, stories yeah. of all this stuff. Like, they, just be prepared. Kind of just be prepared to have a different outlook on things once you start looking at this stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen the movie The Fourth Kind? No. Okay. So we were gonna do an episode on it, but we okay. kind. Of, Kind of found out, like, I, which we, ne- neither one of us ever knew. Okay. I think this is even before you came. Okay. And started yeah. on the show. Like, we were going to do this episode, and we kind of found out that it was all bullshit, uh-huh. which we thought it was fucking true. <laughs> but they, so, they speak of... Apparently, kind of like you that. can put, <laughs> based on a true story, on any, in movie. any movie that you do. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> even though it's complete the, bullshit. So the movie's like a mockumentary, kind of like the Blair Witch Project. Oh, but we thought, oh. like, they literally at the beginning of the movie, it starts, they're like, yeah, these are actors, like, yeah. and then they have, like, throughout the movie, they have, like, side by side of the, what they say is real footage, and then the people yeah. acting, but it's all bullshit. So, like, yeah. Jodie so, uh, Foster plays the main character, yeah. right? And then the events take place in Jodie Foster's life. Well, as these events happen, they'll pan to this other chick that's supposed to be the real Jodie Foster. Yeah. And she's not the real. Damn it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but they like, kind of like weave some of the Anunnaki stuff and the Sumerian stuff yeah. into the movie. So yeah. like the I... chick's like a, um, what is she like? A, she's a shrink. Yeah. Okay. And she's like, all the people in the town keep having the same dream and yeah. Al comes to their window. So she like starts investigating. Mm-hmm. Well, she ends up have, starting to have the dream and they're like putting her under in like a trance yeah. to like, and she'll be like, Possessed, basically. It's one of the scariest yeah. movies. She I've like seen. at one point, which I thought it was true. So it was like yeah. the, it was like scary because you're like, this is the real footage of it, and this is like the yeah. traumatization right. of it. This chick like levitates off the couch, like she breaks her back, and she speaks Sumerian. Okay. Once like yeah. she's possessed, yeah. so like it's ooh yeah it's it, but when you think it's real, you're like what the fuck? holy yeah. shit? Her daughter is like abducted and they never find her, but it's all bullshit. It's we're, really we were pissed. Carl called me one morning. We're at work and we're like literally about to do it. So mm-hmm. like we're gearing up, we're doing all our um, research, yeah, research and I stuff. Say, and hey, like, uh, hey, so, bro. So you know this episode's bullshit yeah. that we're supposed to be doing. And I've been go- my whole life since I've seen it. I've been going to people. You ever seen the fourth kind? You're it's like, fucking- no way. It's bullshit. I said oh, it's, bullshit. it's fucking fake, dude. I, I just told you Santa Claus wasn't real. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. But all right, we're just fucking rambling. Yeah. Let's uh, yeah. wrap it there. Next week, since this is like a chill, we just kicked it episode. Mm-hmm. Next week we get serious. Yeah. I wasn't going to do this episode. Okay, but my leg got pulled. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And we're going to do Tiffany's this episode. really pulling for this one. Yeah, she's really pulling for this one, so we're going to do it. Yeah. Okay, we're doing the Nickelodeon. Yeah. Quiet on set. Quiet on set episode, and we're going to cover everything. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to The more I thought about it, I'm not watering fucking shit now. No, cuz it's if We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Yeah, and yeah. it's it's really hot topic right now. Even though like this has kind of just got brought up again like it's been known that some of the people at Nickelodeon was were predators, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, it's the uh, day and age of people coming out and telling their story. Yeah. Yeah. And this is no like the P. Diddy shit. We could have talked about that today. The P. Diddy shit that's coming out. All that, fu- the Hollywood fucking pedophilia shit, it's coming out and people are telling their stories. And this yeah. is like 
the atom bomb that's yep. coming out on people. Big one. That's a yep. big one. Yep. So uh, follow the socials. Yep. Subscribe to YouTube. Most importantly, subscribe to YouTube. YouTube yep. is kind of popping right now. Yeah. So. Uh, and watch cornfields. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. Uh, Keep an eye on them. Watch signs. Watch Graham Hancock. Man. See you guys. <laughs> See ya. Thank mm-hmm. you.